In this episode of Banished with the Megamod 8.01, we're going to finally complete that confounded bridge, and we're going to put some homes in at the port side area over where the original settlement was, and we're starting right now. Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show. It's Banished Wednesday with Mega Mod 8.01. So we're going to try to complete the bridge today. It should finish on its own. Uh, I'm still experiencing a little bit of the jagged area. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to take a quick look here. I'm making candles for the mine, and every candle I'm making is going right over to the mine... Uh, to be used uh, to make that a deep mine. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I take care of the uh, the jittery issues uh, in the next Mega Mod episode. Alright, so let's take a look here. We need some homes. Uh, we only need seven, which isn't bad. But I'm going to do that over in this area. So um, I, I take a quick look around. See if there's any logical place I can put it in the original settlement. Um, for those of you who are wondering, those stockpiles there, they will be gone. Um, they're not going to stay there forever. I'm going to start building some storehouses and stuff like that uh, to put the, uh, the raw goods in. But I decide over here I'm going to come over to the area where I had the colonial houses. And um, I'm going to lay out some housing here to make up for that housing deficit that's on uh that's over at this side of the map and uh i'm gonna use some different style homes um because i had pretty much been using kids tiny homes um you know in the colony or the uh, uh yeah the the set settler homes type you know the older stuff and uh, i want to try to find some that are kind of uh uh, rustic, but still sort of uh, port-like. Um, and so, you know, I, I go through many of these and I take a look at them, and the thatched roof isn't going to do it for me. Um, you know, it would be great if they, they went from thatch to another type of roofing, but they did not. Um, this stone hovel is perfect um, because it matches the coloring, the stone, and everything that is over here at the port side. So I'm going to definitely put that one down first. And uh, I'm going to put the sister of it right there. And now I'm going to look at some more homes. See what else we got. Perry Stone Hovel. Pretty nice. And it's at a slight angle on, on the footprint, which is kind of cool. Uh, that won't do. Uh, small town homes. No, not going to work. That one's not going to work. Uh, and that's not going to work. Uh... Yeah, so the townhomes I'm not going to use, and then these are our uh, tents and things like that. So I, I check, start checking out some of the other ones, and uh, we've got these. And um, they have a thatched roof, but it sort of looks like it's laid out in rows, which is which is okay. And it's got a stone base, so that, that's pretty sharp. And I used a couple variations of this. Uh, again, these, I believe, are kids' homes. Kid 1, 2, 3. And then we got the tiny houses like we have over in the other area, but I'm going to use the rustic brown. Um, and I think that'll look good there. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. All right, so 56, 63, still need seven homes. So one, two, three, four, five. I need about two more homes is what I put in. Uh, I should put more than two homes, but I, I need about two homes. But I figure by the time these get built, I'm probably going to need more than those those homes so i will put in more but for right now we're watching some of the build it is going a little slow uh, let's look at these md homes um these are kind of rustic not not my taste um i buy some stuff from the trader uh we we end up uh, looking at lumber specifically to start um but we actually have uh, a, a fair amount of lumber 1200 units um so iron ore uh, I've got plenty of iron ore, um, clay for the bricks. Uh, I purchased clay. It, it, it's a smart purchase here, uh, cause we need to continue making bricks. Um, we've got the glass. Uh, we get plenty of glass. We, we pick up the building supplies. Why not? 
Uh, we are going to build colonial homes and colonial buildings uh, for the uh, the what you call it here. The uh, the administrative uh, buildings are going to be from the colonial set, and uh, they all require building supplies. So yeah. Um, luckily, I have a nice uh, nice mix of stuff here to trade from, um, which works out really good. So I can pay exact, and there we go. They're done. And uh, we're going to see some of the jittering here in a second. Um, I did, uh, so when I'm doing this, uh, this narration, uh, I, I speed up the video a little bit, so I'm not narrating over 30 minutes. Um, and it does take a little bit of the jitteriness out, but not a lot. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I find anything in here that, uh, yeah. Uh, and these are the farmhouses, which are, I think I might use one of these. No, I don't. Okay. And then we go into the colonial charter homes, rustic abodes and town abodes. Um, the country house actually looks really sharp at this end, and I use two of them. So you'll see I place the first one here, and that one's dark stone. I go back to a light. Uh, a light panel and I, I back it up this way uh, I'm kind of placing them a little haphazardly because it's going to be a little community and then uh, uh, you'll see later what I do with the roading area and whatnot um, I missed an opportunity here and I might fix it later to actually put like taverns uh, market stalls things like that over here like I did with the uh, the city port area um, I also realized, too, that the only entrance to uh, that area, and the bridge finally complete, yay, the only entrance into that, that uh, original settlement is down the canal uh, that has bridges blocking the path so the big ships don't make sense. I'm going to remedy that with a huge extra-wide canal system that goes out to a main river on the other side of the map later on. Um... And let's see, we're gonna. We're, I was trying to look for some stone walls that that suited um, the the bridge texture. Those are too tall. Um, let's see, what did I end up? I went with old stone. Um, it looked good, um, but there's no edge version of it, and so it kind of sticks out in the middle of the path. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to end up looking in the long run. Um, I do, after the video is done, go in and change it because I found something I like a little better. Uh, but there you can see the jitteriness. Uh, Perry Stone Hovel's got housing in it. And we're almost caught up. We just need the four more homes. So um, I take a quick peek at the roads I'm going to use, which are going to be key. Key roads are uh, key. The roads are key, and they're key. Because um, I'm going to stick with that style stone. Uh, for the the surface area uh, of the, the 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 pathing between the homes and whatnot, but you can see the jitteriness there is really bad, and I'm not sure what started that. I was recording this from my desktop uh, version of Banished uh, for a long time without any issues, and then all of a sudden one day issues. Um, so I've gone ahead and put the mod in my Steam version. And when I launched it from Steam, it, it looked to run smoothly again. So uh, I'm not sure why it all of the sudden just stopped running smoothly from the desktop launch. But screen capture in OBS, horrid. Just not good at all. Um, at least for uh, a game like this. It works for Art of Murder, but Art of Murder isn't high action, lots of stuff going on go yep and uh, as you can see I'm not I'm not filling in all the areas with the keystone and uh, and you'll see why in a moment right on I leave that spot there because I, I'm thinking about putting in a home there and uh, you'll see here in a second what I do so I look at the rustic abode first, and I'm like, it's a little too rugged looking. So I go to the regular town abode, and it looks better. And it's upgradable, so it doesn't change the base footprint. Yeah, so we got 161 families 
165 homes. So we have too many homes for families. It is what it is. All right, now I come in here, uh, put in a couple more road pieces, um, and now I'm looking for what I'm going to lay down. So I got storage boxes and things like that since we're right near the edge of the the uh, the port pier. I want to have some storage. I also want to throw in a couple of, of uh, trees uh, so that it's not so barren. Um, just because there are businesses nearby does not mean that there cannot be trees nearby. I'm going to come over here, uh, take a look at these covered uh, yards, and uh, I don't like them. They don't, they don't, they don't really fit. Um, but this old picket fence looks pretty sharp. So make a little fenced off area just, just for uh, spits and giggles um, to put a stockpile in. I figure why not, right? You know. Well, let's go up here to stockpile. I'm going to stockpile uh, construction goods and materials there. And then I'm going to try to stockpile like logs and firewood and stuff like that in the area. Um, kind of keep uh, in industrial fuels and everything over here uh, by the, the uh, uh, whatchamacallit there, the foundry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Put some in here and there. I can't put one there, but I can put one there. I can't put one there. I can put one here. And uh, put fire log, regular logs there. Yep. Not sure why I have it paused again. But it certainly does need to be paused. And then I throw in a couple of cellars as well. Uh, cellars will be important. Uh, food storage over in the area. Since there isn't food production on this side of town, um, they should have a place to store food nearby um, so that they can get uh, food at easy access. Um, food's on the other side of the, uh, the settlement area. So let's go back to take a look at the bridge. Have they finished the walls yet? Uh, no, they're still working on them. Well, they got one panel of the wall done. But you can even see from this angle that it's not quite right. We've got another trader in. We're going to pick up some stuff from this trader, I believe. Um, or do I? No, oh, yeah, I do. I buy this canvas. Um, uh, we use the canvas uh, for flag making and stuff like that. And uh, the flags will get uh, traded. Um I have 93 flags, and I'm going to throw them into the trader, um, and we'll, we'll get, uh, I'm, I'm hoping, some decent money uh, for them. Oh, yeah, and I pick up the bricks as well, because, you know, I'm going to need them for some of the homes, some of the road types and whatnot. There you go. Fidgeting around with the numbers. I need uh, 150, so... I mean, here I need 40. So I'll throw in five of those and away they go. And boy, that jitteriness was awful. Uh, I'm so glad you won't have to watch that for very long. I just noticed, too, that a couple of the homes that I put in have upgrade buttons. So I can upgrade them to uh, something nicer uh, if I so decide. But I like the, the varying rock styles. Although normally in communities, you're not going to see that. But there you go. Uh, that's, that's this week's episode. Listen, if you do like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions, which you'd like to see me do here in Modzonia, you can put them in the comments below, because I'm going to read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of Burners with Mega Mod 8.01. Peace! Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above, or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.